Bree Bella. As I live and breathe. <laughs> How are you doing here at the massive uh, train wreck world premiere? Are you excited? I am so excited. It's funny because always being around Nicole and John, I always find John hilarious. And everything he says is just funny. So the fact that he's in a comedy like this, I'm like, go figure. So, I mean, I think... And a lot of people in Hollywood are talking about how much of a revelation John is and, and like his comedy chops. Right. It's quite a surprise to everyone. Were you not surprised at all? I wasn't surprised at all. I mean, I think too, I think the WWE fans are also like, of course, because you do, you see this funny side of John, he's very quick witted. So you're like, of course he would kill it in train wreck. And I think it's amazing too, because Amy Schumer, she's a huge wrestling fan. So it's like, it's great. That's why I'm like, I have to come to train wreck, support her, support John. It's great. It's awesome. And I guess you could say this about Total Divas and you and Nikki as well, but WWE seems to be like the perfect training ground for people going on into the wider entertainment world because you got the comedy, the drama, the live aspect, right. the physicality. Is it like the perfect job to prepare somebody like John for a, a job on a big movie like this? Oh, I definitely think so. And you just see what Dwayne Johnson's done in Hollywood, and I really do believe John is the next Dwayne. And I feel like, too, you know, in WWE, the one thing we've learned is to not take ourselves seriously and just to make fools of ourselves at times. And I think that's something great to take into Hollywood because it kind of puts you way steps ahead of everyone else. Now, John had a big problem with The Rock for putting his Hollywood career ahead of his WWE fans. Are we about to see John going part-time? I don't think you'll ever see that. I really don't. Until he can physically not move in that ring, I think. WWE will always come first. So, But it's neat that he gets to do these projects and have these small roles. And it's such an amazing crossover as well. Oh Getting God. the WWE fans involved in this and vice versa is awesome. I agree. I definitely agree. Now, talking about crossover projects, let's talk about Total Divas. Season four is underway yeah. in the UK and US. It's yeah. the same season. Uh, what can fans expect from uh, season four? Well, as you saw last week, and actually we go on air tonight, is just a lot of drama. A lot of you know stuff went down with Eva Marie. A lot of us divas were upset because she didn't want to go to NXT and train, and all of us believe you have to sacrifice your family, your love lives, so you have to sacrifice your home life to give everything to WWE, and if you don't want to do it, why are you here? So you see that breakdown in Total Divas, and also with Brian and I, we really start taking like parenthood serious, and the fact that we want to have, be parents. So you actually, I think tonight, you're going to see us get our fertility checked, which is really weird. So it's a very crazy season, but I'm excited for everyone to see. I really do think it's the best one yet. Lovely to see you. See you again soon. Thank you.